Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a movie review of the movie Pork Chop Hill. Uh, this movie came out in 1959. It is a drama war movie. It's a war movie. It's drama. It's, it's a really great movie. This is the grim story of one of the major battles of the Korean War. Um, in the story, the, the peace... And this is, this is a true story. The peace talks are underway at Panmunjom. Lieutenant Joe Clemens is ordered to retake Pork Chop Hill. The men all know the peace talks are underway, and none of them want to die. The hill is of no strategic military value, but can be pivotal in the peace negotiations. <coughs> the, uh, the negotiators need leverage, and that's what this is for. Communications breakdowns and misinformation plague the soldiers. At one point, battalion headquarters orders some of the men withdrawn when in fact they need reinforcements and supplies badly. As the Chinese prepare to counterattack, the American GIs prepare for what may very well be their final battle. I was impressed when I watched this movie. I've seen it several times. The other night I watched it and I was impressed with the cast. It's a who's who of future stars. Here we go. And cast in this is absolutely wonderful. We've got Gregory Peck, Rip Torn, Harry Gardino, George Pappard, Martin Landau, Woody Strode, James Edwards, Carl Benton Reed, Bob Steele, Gavin McLeod, George Shibata, Norman Fell, Robert Blake, Lou Gallo, Harry Dean Stanton. I mean, everybody's in this freaking movie. Whenever, whenever I try to do movies like this, I, I try to do a standout, and it, I try to do a standout uh, based on maybe somebody who's acting well or somebody who's impressive because they're young and they're, they go on to do better things later, because I do a lot of older movies because Hollywood's not putting out anything good these days, very, very rarely. Um, so I try to put out, you, I, I try to put standouts, mention people that are that do well, and then later on they become big time stars. And there's so many in here, it was hard to pick. Everybody in this movie, both in front of and behind the camera, is brilliant. Um, I want to see where it was filmed because it looked the, the the ground of the area looked like a battlefield. It, it, it whoever did it really did it well. <clears throat> For standouts, I chose to. Uh, First off is an obvious pick, Gregory Peck. You cannot go wrong with Gregory Peck in anything he ever does. He has made every role that he played a starring role, even if even if he wasn't the star. You cannot go wrong with Gregory Peck. He plays Lieutenant Joe Clemens in this, and he interact the way he interacts with his men is the way officers should interact with their men, in my opinion. So, and then again, it, it's Gregory Peck. He's one of the all-time greats. The other one that I picked is Woody Strode. He played Private Franklin. Now, this guy is one of those understated actors who fly under the radar. But his contribution to this movie is beyond belief. There was a... A feeling at the time during the Korean conflict that draftees were people were drafted because they didn't want to go and and rightly so there was a lot of people who did not believe in the war there was war protests just like in Vietnam but there was war protests there were the there was a disgruntled atmosphere and this guy this guy played that to the hilt 
His character doesn't want to be there, and he gives not one shit about Korea. He doesn't care. But in the end, he does his duty like all good soldiers do. <clears throat> um, he's he's, he's a, a, a black man drafted to fight a war against communism. There has always been strife there. The vast majority of... draftees did not want to be there this guy played it to the hilt his scene with the, the scenes that he shoots with Gregory Peck are brilliant absolutely pure gold the racial tension that they exhibit that, that this guy exhibits he, he does it well it's not, he's not over the top it's not cookie cutter it's not It's hard to explain. A lot of the time, it's, it's stereotypical in movies like this. This guy did not play it that way. He played it as a real person in that situation, which is what an actor should do. This man, Woody Strode, is a wonderful, wonderful actor. Um, their scene shows that the racial tension and not wanting to be there and the disgruntled attitude gives way to respect which is what you should have for each other as soldiers. Nobody wants to be there, but, you know, you, you do the job. And these two guys together in their scenes, holy crap, you've got to, you've got to watch it. It's brilliant. If you get a chance, you got to check out the movie uh, Porkchop Hill from 1959. You will not be disappointed. Hope this finds everybody well. And, by the way, you can watch it for free on YouTube. You folks have a good day now. God bless one and all. Devo Poland, a scientific representative of a pacifist race called the Gandiri, is sent away as an exchange officer. His objective, to learn the one skill his species never developed, to fight. And he's sent to learn that skill from the one species who does it better than any other in the galaxy, humans. If you like science fiction with an upbeat military tone, check out my novel, Vanguard One.